Emotions effect in the red drop, very interesting. R. Immersion and C. M. Levis, 1943, observed that the quantum yield of a photosynthesis decreases towards the far red end of the spectra, which is close to 680 nanometer or longer than that. So, what was their observation? The observation was that the quanta yield of photosynthesis goes on decrease towards the far red end of the spectra as you can see here here this is the quanta yield and you could see that it's reducing as it nears the 680 or more now since this, this decrease in the quanta yield is observed at the far region or beyond red region of spectra it's also called as the red drop and here comes the word red drop so at 8 it drops so red drop and now you know why it's called as red drop. So here we come up with this question and the question is which pigment system is inactivated in red drop and the options are the options are photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 option B photosystem 1 option C photosystem 2 and option D none of these. And here the answer is, which pigment system is inactivated in red drop? It is C photosystem 2. Now here in immersion effect and the red drop, let us understand immersion et al. like and more people further observe that photosynthetic efficiency of the light of 680 nanometers or longer is increased if the light of the shorter wavelength that is less than 680 nanometer is supplied simultaneously now this was also one thing okay so when both short and long wavelengths were supplied together the quantum yield of the photosynthesis was greater than the total effect from when both the wavelengths were supplied separately so this increase in the photosynthesis efficiency of the quantum yield is known as immersion effect or we also call it immersion enhancement effect because there is an enhancement. So immersion enhancement effect or immersion effect is quantum yield in combined beam subtracted uh, by quantum yield in the red beam upon quantum yield in the far red beam. 